Okay, guys, this is lesson 1.4 for pre-algebra. So take out your notes, title it lesson 1.4, I mean your notebook. All right, so this is pretty simple. It's representing negative numbers. I'm pretty sure all of you can do this without a problem. So what it says is write a number to represent the temperature shown by the thermometer. So you look over here at the thermometer and you see, okay, here's zero. So it's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four degrees outside. Ne negative four degrees Celsius outside. Pretty simple, okay? Now, here's a quick check. This is what I want you to write down as um, the e example in your notes. Seawater freezes at about 28 degrees Fahrenheit or about two degrees Celsius below zero. Write a number to represent the Celsius temperature. So if water freezes at two degrees below zero, so it would be negative two degrees Celsius. All right, graphing on a number line. So it gives you three numbers. Graph negative one, four, and negative five on a number line. Compare the numbers and order them from least to greatest. So compare the numbers. So first I'm going to graph them. So they graphed it at, there's negative five, there's negative one, and here's four. Okay, compare the numbers is they compared everything to zero. So if you look here is zero, and they said negative one is one unit to the left of zero, negative five is five units to the left of zero, and four is four units to the right of zero. So that's how they did it as a comparison. Negative five is to the left of negative one, and negative one is to the left of four. So negative five is less than negative one, which is less than four. This is a great comparison that you will see a lot in math, is the greater than or less than signs. So now, try this one in your notebooks. You can push pause and then come back. Graph zero, two, and negative six. Compare the numbers and order the numbers from least to greatest. So try it in your notes, and then we'll come back. All right, so I am going to draw a number line, and I'm going to have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to go six this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to graph these numbers. So zero is right here. I'm going to make a dot. 2 is right here, make a dot, and negative 6 is right here, I'm going to make a dot. So when they ask you to compare, they want you to do this comparison. So I would say negative 6 is less than 0, which is less than 2. And then order the numbers from least to greatest, so that's pretty easy, you just do negative 6, comma, zero comma two, and that's it. Next, finding absolute value. So here are three key terms. So you're gonna want to write these in your notes. Opposites. Opposites are numbers that are the same distance from zero on a number line. So like four and negative four are opposites. All right, now integers are whole numbers and their opposites. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. A number's distance from 0 on a number line is called its absolute value. So write down this, absolute value, and write down a number's distance from 0 on a number line. People get so confused with this because they think if it's positive, it's negative, and if it's negative, it's positive. They think it's an opposite, and it is not. Absolute value, let's pretend this is zero right here. Absolute value is if I walk three steps this way, that's three steps. 
if I walk three steps this way, it's still three steps. It doesn't matter that it's in the negative or positive direction. Absolute value, all it asks is how far away are you? It's distance, and distance cannot be negative. So here's what you're going to see. They represent absolute value with these little um, straight up and down bars, and you will see this from now until your senior year or in college. So then they'll say, what is the absolute value of negative 8? Now what that means is how far is negative 8 from 0 on a number line? So you would say, oh, that's 8. But then they'll also ask, what's the absolute value of 7? Well, how far is 7 from 0 on a number line? It is also positive, which is 7. So just be careful with that. It doesn't go from negative to positive. Your distance is always positive. So try this quick check, and then um, we'll come back and check it. So it says, write the absolute value of negative 10 in words, then find the absolute value of negative 10. So what they want you to write is the absolute value of negative 10 in words. So how far is negative 10 from zero on a number line. That's really all they want. So then what's the absolute value of negative 10? Well, the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. It's 10 steps away. So try these in your notebook and then we will check them. So how far is 156 from zero on a number line? It is 156. How far is negative 97? That is 97 units away from zero. Now here's a little bit tricky one. You just wanna focus on what's inside the absolute value marks. So that is just this part, negative 13. So how far is negative 13 from zero? Well, that's 13. But then there's this negative sign outside. That stays with it. That stays with it, so it becomes negative 13. Do, it's kind of like the order of operations from um, Monday. You have to do parentheses first. Well, absolute value is considered that. So this one, 74, the absolute value of 74 plus the absolute value of negative 23. So the absolute value of 74 is 74. And the absolute value of negative 23 is positive 23 because it's 23 steps from zero. So I add them together and I get 97. This one is the absolute value of 35, which is 35, minus the absolute value of negative 12, which is 12. 35 minus 12 is 23. All right, that's it for your notes for this lesson. Come tomorrow and we will go over it.